What is going on lads? What is the crack? We are back with another player pack review. So a lot of people asking for this one as well, the Bayern Munich one. It's a new updated Bayern Munich pack. I'll try and keep this a little bit shorter because I know that there is a lot of reviews going out from me. So I want to keep it maybe short, maybe about seven, eight minutes and get through the main part of it. So we are going to look at the Bayern Munich one. We have yet to do the Manchester United and the Arsenal one. The rest are done and up. So you can check those out whenever they drop. Um, but there is a couple of nice players in here. Obviously, the Manchester United one is a, is a very interesting one as well. But we are going to start here now with... Uh, Kimmich, who is the main man here for the Bayern Munich pack. You've got Sané, you've got Graben Birch, and you have Mane there as well. So the three new players that you kind of have to look at there, De Ligt, Graben Birch, and Mane. And then you've coupled in with the rest of the squad as well, that you've got a fairly beastly squad. I mean, to me, right, if you are going to look for most bang for your buck, right, and you are a newcomer, you've downloaded the game in the last couple of days, and you're trying to get a team that can, like, literally like not even just compete but dominate like right from the off and you have a couple of quid or you have a couple of coins to spare or you don't mind doing it like the Bayern Munich pack is unreal lads it's insane it's absolutely insane some of the players here and also they've got really good form this week as well because they are bossing it as usual in the Bundesliga so we're going to take a look over on eFootballDB as well and we're going to take a look at the player database that the lads have um on eFootballDB.com and we're going to have a bit of a review of the players and look at their stats compared to their standard versions and stuff um but yeah we are going to check that out now in just a second we will start with Kimmich all right so first up we have got Kimmy himself Kimmich depending on where you want to play this guy lads right I think he is top 10 in the game but I think he doesn't really shine unless you play him at right back he is I think the best one of the best right backs in the game his acceleration on this card isn't the highest, obviously, because they have probably kind of nerfed it a tiny little bit down. Um, he is obviously on with the Bayern Munich club pack as well, but there's only five levels to train that up. But yeah, I mean, he's got everything that you could possibly want as a DMF, but he can play CMF, AMF and right back. I'm playing him right back because he's got interception, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, and he's got like, you don't need to touch his passing or his dribbling for a right back. You can just pump every bit of uh, progression points and trainer points that you have into defense and speed and his uh, his acceleration only needs to be about 83 84 so when we go over to eFootball DB, that is kind of the version that i have used him as 94 he goes up to a 97 overall if you have a 100 play style or 98 plus play style uh proficiency right so if you are playing this guy you can play possession or quick counter he's got unwavering form he goes up to 97 overall and on top of that if you get a form arrow which he is on a form at the moment as you can see here he is on a form arrow you are going to probably get the form arrow boost which will give you potentially 80 you know 88 acceleration 87 acceleration and then his defensive awareness and everything is going to go up if he is playing right back as well so for me yeah he definitely is one of the picks of the pack i think he's an absolute monster um but you guys should know that by now because you know he is such a high rated player most of the high rated players are going to be beastly anyway but i do think that kimmich is one of those special ones that can that can just do so much on the ball when he has it and he has got every stat that you could possibly need dmf i haven't really played him too much dmf but yeah i think he would be good enough as well i'd be slightly worried about his interception skills at dmf with his defensive awareness because i am used to makalele and Vieira. but he definitely would be worth a punt and he is an unbelievable right back that's just my opinion next up we've got goretzka um again one of the best box to box players that you could possibly have in the game like look lads at the end of the day right you were getting the best players here in the game like you're getting the best guys and it just depends on your skill level if you are a beast at the game on the sticks if you're able to pick up a pad and just be good at games or be good at football games or you practice 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 and you get really good at e-football or you get really good at fifa or whatever game it is you will be able to get results with any player, like within reason. You know what I mean? Obviously, you're not going to be taking on teams that have been Bappe and Haaland and Ronaldo and Up and Meccano and Vieira and Beckenbauer with like 70 rated players overall, because eventually you will become undone by a good player that has got a better team than you. But like you can train up regular players that cost you 20, 30,000 GP and do it. And I, I keep repeating that in the episodes you know because maybe somebody doesn't hasn't seen the last review that i do or they won't see this review so i'll repeat it in the next one but the standard players that you're looking at getting 
the, the advantage of these guys have is that they are kind of the finished article. They don't take as much trainer points. Goretzka is very, very, very solid. He's got a wavering form. He's got incredible player skills. Like, he's one of the most complete box-to-box players around. Same with Sané. You know what you're getting with Sané. Like, absolutely incredible um, winger. I do have him, and he is crazy. Him, Dembele, uh, Anthony Diaz from Liverpool. Absolutely incredible. And they all just have, you know, they mix and link and interlink. And all you want to be focusing on is getting players that have good form. That's all you need to focus on. So, you know, we've covered a lot of these before. Up in Meccano, there was obviously the legend version of Up in Meccano. He is a B rating as well. He does have inconsistent form on this card, which is an issue because it doesn't have... I think, again, they're trying to balance everything. You know, the other version of Up in Meccano is way better because he's obviously got really good form, but he doesn't have that inconsistent form that he that this card has so it's all about finding a balance between it and having little trade-off points any of the standard versions of these cards like you know that you want to buy Kimmich is very 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 expensive so if you're going to be buying Kimmich I think he's like 450,000 GP so if you don't have that and you want Kimmich in your team you know there is the option there but up in Meccano again we have covered him quite a bit Musiala we just covered him in the other player review as well so I'm not going to spend too much time on him he does have super sub on this card to me he's probably one of the best cards in the game lads at the moment Musiala like we will take a look in a second at what he ranks up at but yeah he you know we have that already covered in the other video you know what you're going to be getting you're going to be getting 90s into dribbling you're going to be getting really good passing 90 acceleration and you can play him as a, a beastly attacking midfielder um Hernandez and Neuer Mane will cover them in a second Muller again you know what you're getting with Muller he's always got good form he's got unwavering form there He's got every player skill you could possibly want, including track back as an AMF or an SS. I think as an AMF, he's probably a little slow. And as an SS, he does get blown away quite a bit. It's the same problem that the likes of Dennis Borkamp has. He's never, he's neither here or there. He's never coming or going because he just gets kind of pushed out of the way because he doesn't have the speed and he doesn't have the dribbling that you could possibly want. And as well as that, his balance is really low. So he's probably one of the worst players in the pack, but he is a good version of Muller if you are looking to get Muller. And then Neuer. I mean, I don't need to say anything about Neuer. One of the best keepers in the game, except that he is a crazy, crazy man. And as I've said oftentimes, I wouldn't trust Neuer in eFootball 23 if he had 10 hands. I genuinely, lads, I would not trust him. Donnarumma is the only goalkeeper you need, in my personal opinion. But if you are looking to get a goalkeeper that is going to be consistently on good form, you can go much worse than Neuer. So moving on then to eFootball DB. We do have a couple of the other players that I want to check out. So Manny is the first one that I'm going to check out here. He goes up to a 94 overall, right? So again, if you're comparing him with his standard version, this Manny here, the standard version of Manny, has 25 levels. This one <coughs> that we're looking at here, excuse me, has 19 levels, right? So you can potentially boost him up very similar or even better than this version of the card. The only difference is, I would say, is that this uh, Manny here has got much better... Um, header or not header dribbling and speed like just slightly better but obviously you'd be able to boost that up a little bit there isn't much in the difference between the players right because you still have room to grow there but this guy is you know you know what you're going to get in lads all of these players are going to be very very good when you do get them they are going to be monsters on the pitch and you can interlink a lot of them you know you can switch out Mane with Dembele you can switch out Dembele with Anthony from United you can switch out Anthony with uh, Ansu Fati and then it just depends on your personal preference because they all play very similar because the player ID isn't really paramount at the moment next up we've got Hernandez one of the OP players in eFootball 22, him and Tio Hernandez, of course, who plays for Milan. Two of them were absolute monsters. He's got really good stats when he maxed him out. 88 defensive awareness, 92 engagement, 93 tackling, and 96 aggression. And then he's also got the speed and acceleration to boot. He is always usually on good form as well, but this week he is on C form, so that's just something to keep an eye on. Delict who, yeah, we're getting now into the kind of new guys. So obviously Mane is new for this season for Bayern um with the new pack um we have the licked 
I've had a mixed fortunes with Delict. Sometimes he's beastly, sometimes he's like terrible for me. Um, he has everything going for him: defensive awareness, aggression, tackling, brilliant, jump, brilliant, header, brilliant, physical contact, excellent, speed and acceleration, no slouch. He does kind of remind me of Ruben Diaz. I would still prefer Ruben Diaz ahead of him, but yeah, he is a very solid centre back. And then last, but definitely not least, we have got Graven Birch, one of the best players in eFootball 2022. When the game first launched, everyone had him, everyone had Timber, everyone had Darwin Nunes. He was insane. And again, you are getting what you kind of like need in a center midfielder here. Like you've got 77, speed and acceleration is 78. Ball control is good. Dribbling is fine. Low pass is good. His defensive awareness and ability is good. Now, obviously we have boosted up his defensive awareness a little bit here as well. If we are looking to have him as a more of a passer kind of first player, you can get him up to 86 and take away that defensive awareness if you're playing him as a CMF and bringing the ball forward. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, because obviously you are always going to have um, different opinions on the players. And this obviously being a pack worth 900 coins, you know, you're going to want to think whether you get it or not. You can get a lot of the standard players, but if you were to get every player in this pack with GP, it's going to cost you well over 50, like 1.5 million around that. So that's something to think about as well. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. I will talk to you in a bit. Hope you're enjoying the reviews. Let me know if you spin or skip. Peace.